one here. And awesome, awesome. But I will say, mic check, mic check. Make sure you hear me loud and clear. Yep, I do hear you. Awesome, I just want to make awesome. sure you're, um, <laughs> you tap your microphone, make sure that's working good. Okay, so we're good no, to it's go. No, right? it's not coming through yet. It's still not coming through? No. What about now? It sounds a little bit better. So what let's do is. Okay, okay. How about now? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you better now. Yeah. You better now. Some technical difficulties, huh? you know. Um, well, glad we got through that. But that's about challenge. So that's another segment within itself. But, you know, one of the things that um, that came to mind over the past week when I had a conversation with one of my, my good friends was, We've always talked about some of the challenges um, that we've had to to navigate our, ourselves through in life in general, you know, and those challenges could be moving from to a different location because once again, he and I, we met here and neither, this is not our home state, you know, so we had to to relearn, adapt, adjust and overcome within a new environment. And uh, And as we were going through that, we kind of reflected on our past and on that, on that time, we, we thought of the book, Who Moved My Cheese? Now, this book, Who Moved My Cheese? It played a big part in my life and still does to this day because it, it gave me a different perspective, a different outlook, a different way to view things. And um, especially in particular, change. It was one of the books that I had to um, read and a company gave it to me. It was a company I was working for. I didn't, I never knew of the book. When I read the book, I said, okay, something's on the horizon here. Why would they give me a book about change? So I knew something was on the horizon, something was getting ready to come. But nonetheless, I change did come and I had to adjust. I had to adapt to that change. I had to make the necessary adjustments and I had to overcome those challenges so that I can succeed and continue to build a career for myself. Now, I apply that to what we're seeing right here. What we're seeing right here within this whole um, AI realm, this newer emerging technology, what it's introducing to us is change. And, and how are we gonna go about adapting to that change? So in just a high level overview in the book, there were four characters, two mice, two human size, um, in, two human individuals the size of mice, and they were in a maze. And they were trapped in that maze and every day, they would go out into the maze and they would look for food, you know? And so they all took different, that. well, him and Hall were the two human individuals, the mice were sniff and scary, and they would take their, their routes and every day they would do this and they came across a big pot of cheese, you know, a station is what they called it. And it was, that station had a lot of cheese in it and they sat there and they ate. And since they um, had the cheese, they felt as though they had everything that they needed. So what they did is they established a routine and every day they would get up, the mice would get up, they would go their way, the path that they took to get to the cheese, the humans would get up, they would go their route the way that they took to the cheese. And over time, the humans just would get up later and later because in their mind, that cheese will always be there. So in their mind, they felt it's like there's nothing's gonna change. This is this is the good life here. So they become content with the, with with that life and thinking that it's going to always be there. However, the mice noticed that, wait a minute, we're eating this cheese daily and we're not replenishing it and we're noticing the cheese shrinking. So they proactively got in front of it. And what they did is as they were noticing the cheese um, stack diminishing, they started going out into the maze looking for additional food because they knew eventually that's going to run out and they would be forced at that point. Well, that's what they did. And once the cheese was gone, the two human characters, him and Hall, when it ran out of cheese, they were in distraught. Like, oh my goodness, where's the cheese? What happened? Did somebody steal it? Completely oblivious to the fact that they were the ones cons consuming it day in and day out. But it was their routine. It's, half, and it's like humans, we get caught up in our day to day and we don't think of anything outside of that. We take certain things for granted. So. When the cheese was gone, they were all over the place. They they looked within the building, looking under rocks and everything, or within the, um, the, the station, looking under rocks. There was no cheese. They went home. 
they were pouting. There got to be more cheese. What happened to our cheese? Who moved my cheese? And that's the whole premise of the book. Who moved my cheese? Then they would get up the next day. Well, let's go back to that same station thinking that that cheese would be there, you know? And so it's that it's that cycle. It's that cycle and mm-hmm. how we get caught up in it. And the cheese wasn't there. But then you had him and Hall and and Hall, him was stuck on it. Hall was like, man, I got to do something. So Hall was the first one to venture out into the maze to look for additional food. You know, and when he went out and he's navigating for food, he eventually came across a station. It looks like the food had been eaten in that station. That was just a little bit left. So I take it that Sniff and Scurry had found that and eaten that, you know. But but nonetheless, when they um, he continued to go out there and he was making mental he was making notes just in case him ever decided to come out. there, And that's what we do. We we don't want to leave anyone behind. So we leave little notes so that people can eventually catch up and get to where we're going or where we where we need to be because change is inevitable. And um, he eventually came across a bigger workstation. I don't know the exact name of the workstation. Let's say workstation D since he was at workstation C. And um, he was just eating his food and enjoying it. You know, the mice were already there sniffing scary. So he's chilling with them. And then they hear a noise out in the maze and long and behold, it was him who had eventually decided that I had to make a change if I was going to survive. And so so when I was having that conversation with my friend, it, it dawned on me that we're constantly having to, to make changes in our lives. Changes mm-hmm. is inevitable. And this AI that we're dealing with and that we're presenting to our families and friends and, and the community, loved ones all out there, we're just trying to bring exposure to that because this is inevitable it's going to happen and and so we need to be more like sniff and scary as we're seeing it evolve and unfold then we need to take action and be proactive rather than be reactive so don't wait for it to be mandated upon you before you have before you decide to go out there and try to educate yourselves because you're already behind the curve at that point you're already behind the eight ball and so that's one of the things that that came to mind and that's why i was like mark you know let's let's talk about that we're, we're doing we're really doing this it's it's we find pleasure in doing this but but that the beauty of it is is the thing that we find pleasure in doing we're looking to share with our loved ones families friends our community in the world of of how they can leverage this and and adjust and move forward in their lives make the necessary changes and i i, I see i see my good friend on the line right now um, Mr. Hicks, I appreciate you for joining, but he's the one I was having a conversation with. You know, he and I go back 20 years. He's seen my growth. He's seen everything. I mean, Mark, just as well as you've done within my personal career. So he's seen my growth. He understands what I've been through. And we have these type of conversations because it's all about evolving. It's about building. And that's what we're doing here, community. So the AI review room is about building we're bringing visibility to technologies that that we are learning ourselves and don't look at it necessarily as um as the downside of this technology because we're going to evaluate both the good and the bad but what we're doing is we're giving you overviews we're learning this as we're going along with you all so you have an opportunity to jump on the ship with us right now this ship is set and sail we can go out in the water you know we can pave new ways and become trailblazers because at the end of the day once this ship sets sail it's hard for us to turn it's hard for us to reach back at that point because if we reach back then we're not focusing forward and we want to be innovators and stay in front of this constantly giving you our community more and more so that's just the gist of who moved my cheese and and how i apply it to my day to day i'm pretty sure everyone has a story to tell about how this book can impact them and how they can leverage this book. It's a great read. It's not a long read at all. If you're not a big reader, go online, YouTube. YouTube has channels where you can watch the animation version of this and it goes through that. Then you can self-reflect and and ask yourself, where do I fit in? You know, how does this apply to me or how can I apply this to my life? Which character am I? You definitely don't want to be, you can be him at all, but once again, eventually they they made the change and they moved forward. But you don't want to be the last one to make that change. 
Great That's life lesson. Yeah, I read the book many years ago, and it's still taught today in business schools and um, and also is still mentioned in companies all around the world itself. So it is great. Um, and we, you know, so when I heard the story, I said, we just need to spend a few minutes at the beginning of our show to really talk about change. And I thought this was a great, uh, simple, and but great story itself. So we are going to start our review section of the live show tonight. And guess who is up? <laughs> 